Hello. Can you can you see me? Maybell, can you see on Facebook? We are live. Trying to look for you. Maybe it takes a little buffer. Um, let me get my eye here. Oh, here. Got it. Okay. I see you. Okay, great. Here. Yes. Hello, everyone. Facebook friends. You maybe can, maybe you can turn the voice down. You're not got echo. I'm with um, my longtime friends and uh, Facebook friend and uh, uh, Chinese painting uh, friend, Mary Bell from Philippines, and actually she lives in both countries, <laughs> uh, travel frequently between Asia and uh, America. Uh, today we got this uh, original silk painting from Mary Bell um, on silk. Um, as you have probably seen in my uh, Facebook and uh, um, blueheronarts.com, we carried this uh, Japanese silk. Um, I would ask uh, Maybell to, to give us a little short uh, introduction about the material she used and the method. Maybell, uh, how do you like this silk? Um, this is actually perfect and I love it compared to the traditional size silk of, for one reason mostly or mainly because it's wrinkle free yes. and I don't have to stretch the material before I do my painting. I can treat it like regular Chinese size swan. Um, even if I have done the layers there has no wrinkle at all in between the you know the layers and as you can see even uh i have not even um ironed it and it's still reacting the same way mm. it's wrinkle free that's yeah. the mm -hmm. best it's and, uh, uh, very easy to manipulate yeah, yeah. so uh we got the color very vibrant uh, is this um Another characteristic of the heavy silk compared to the traditional thin yes, silk? Yes, Even before mounting, yes. we, we can see. Uh, it will take on more vivid colors compared to the traditional Chinese silk. And I can go as intense as I want. Mm -hmm. So that's why it came out beautiful and I'm very happy with mm -hmm. the, the finished work. Did you use the uh, watercolor, Chinese painting colors? I used Marie's watercolor, oh. but I used the, the, the most quantity, was it 25? Oh, the 24 Marie's The 24. one I got from you. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's more on the opaque side. Maybe. Yeah, I did use, uh, did try a little, a bit of the koretake, uh. but uh, it seemed like the Marie's work better uh -huh. in this with this material the gold is acrylic yeah. the gold was a, an advice from Shea Wall mm -hmm. I used the golden gold deep fine mm. uh, gold color mm -hmm. and um, I'm really happy with it yeah this it uh, really this good. material was uh, also introduced by Shea Wow, in Hawaii, thank Shea. Yes. <laughs> uh, I hope she's watching. Yeah, she will, I think. <laughs> There's a four hour difference, uh, three hour difference, maybe. Um, so we are going to um, mount it with a silicone mounting paper on um, the permanent uh, uh, backing paper that we also carry that. Uh, uh, as a uh, support, a permanent support for the silk. You can you can um, wet mount it if you will. I think uh, it's a traditional way. But since Maribel is going to frame it, frame it, uh, dry mounting will be the the best. Um, she can still draw it uh, after framing and um, after mounting. 
and then she can frame uh, when she goes to Philippines. So we're going to mount this in message B, which means uh, the silicon goes on the support first. Uh, first, yeah, it could be any support material like a watercolor paper, Bristol, uh, Bristol paper, or drawing paper, or um, museum board, or not foam board, I think, but if, if it's permanent uh, archival board, you can use. So the silicon film facing down, okay, and we will release that the, the, the paper comes with silicone, then we'll put the painting on. So we already cut the backing paper, which is larger than the painting, and uh, the uh, silicone paper, which is approximately the same size, maybe a little larger, it could be a little even smaller, but I think we're going to put it under the mat, so it should, could be you know, a little larger. Um, so the backing and the signal is a little bit larger. That gives us some flexibility. So we don't have to match it exactly of the the size. So but I do have to So the silicon side down. Yeah, silicon side down. And then on the backing paper the rough side up. So yes, correct. The backing paper comes with a, a rough side that has a teeth. Mm -hmm. The the shining side um, on the bottom, on the, uh, on, the, on the bottom, and then on the silicone uh, paper itself, the the side with the silicone is facing down. Yeah, we laminate uh, the Correct. the backing yeah. paper first. This backing paper comes in the roll, so you can cut it in the. Uh, this is the width of it. The large one will have is thirty nine. You can go as long as you need, like a scroll size. Five feet or eight feet, whatever. So we will start on the, the center, I think, uh, just like uh, the iron. The, the message A also. We start on the center. We, we then go out to the margin from the center out and to the corners. Maybe this is to. Um, this I set it on silk. silk a little, uh, yeah, a little higher than the silk. Okay. Um, it might be not hot enough. You can increase the temperature later, but in the beginning, I just want to uh, go, you know, place it roughly, so it will not go like uh, off the. Of the, the uh, backing paper, I just basically I set the position, the placement. Then I will maybe increase the temperature a little bit more. Because this is so large, and we are in the winter time, so it it may uh, require higher temperature. But somewhere between this wall and the wall and the silk is what I work with. I just use my finger, you know. I just with my experience. Officially, it, it, you have to reach 180, 180 degrees to uh, uh, activate the adhesive, the heat sensitive adhesive. But it's between, depends on your iron at home, it could be, uh, and also your working habit. If you go faster, you might use. Higher, a little higher. So you can go fast. Yeah, I try. So they don't keep watching for an hour. Yeah. If it goes slower, you can. So I noticed the backing paper, the plain backing paper is larger than the silicone. Yeah, that's what is I. Is that done on purpose? Yes. Okay. Because that, otherwise the silicone will stick on the felt. Okay. I've used the felt today. You can use standing as usually I would do because of the size. We we don't have big enough. Then okay. I have four layers. I can only two layers and for this mm -hmm. size. So I change to. Uh, as you can see, might be too soft. That creates some kind of uh, um, what do you call this? <laughs> this uh, indentation. Indentations. So that could be. Uh, can you 
iron on the other side or yeah I think you you can let me see this is what what always happened because the the soft uh, support so maybe it's a lesson we we may have to stay with this thicker thick, yeah you know, then it, because if you if it's too soft maybe it create this kind of the bumps, yeah. the bumps. Um, but it doesn't matter until uh, we do the next layer because there's also a problem with the uh, um, the two paper, you know, the stretch, mm -hmm. the different stretch of the uh, paper. So as long as I have the the film in place, I'm, I'm fine. This, this is just a, a temporary uh, step. I mean, like a primary, primary uh, step. transition step. It's not uh, permanent. So I can, as long as I can lift the film and then I can work on the wrinkles or waves. So this Next, step's the, purpose is to have the silicone release, stick to yeah, release the stick paper. to the backing paper. This the, the film has some stretchiness, not mm -hmm. like the paper. Yeah. So it will be flat. It will be flat. It will be, you don't have to worry about the wave. Okay. This this might be an indication, you see indication of not ironing enough. Mm -hmm. So the big, when you work on large sheets, there's always a different problem. Because when I work on smaller sheets, it will not show. But it's good, it's a learning opportunity for those who are watching this. So just to keep ironing, mm -hmm. uh, you, remember the, most of the wave goes this way, so I iron on, on a different direction. So you have to just watch. Yeah, you yeah. can just watch the wave. Mm -hmm. It might be... The indication that you are not ironing, yeah, so they're coming out. I just keep ironing. Okay. So there are many, many uh, ways to work. It's a craft. You see, this is the the way we are trying to reduce. Yeah, that's another, let me see if we can, okay, I'll show you the results. So this is the, um, I hope this might be okay. We release the paper. And then we'll work on the the painting. Let's see. As long as this is not a fold, I think we can maybe you know, work with this. yeah work with ironing to flatten it. And even it uh, uh, if there on the back paper, you may not affect the overall uh, the painting on the front. So. It shouldn't be a <coughs> serious problem. Okay, let me... So after this process, I can just go ahead and proceed frame it? Yeah, okay. that's, the, uh, that's right. If you... Uh, actually, on this large painting, you don't really see the wrinkles. I can show them in a close-up. As this test I made, you can see the, the wave um, before you mounted, uh, it's not uh, totally flat, although you cannot really you see it, the, because the, the water yeah, creates this kind of, uh, I wrinkles. call it wrinkles, yeah. not really wrinkles, just the, the wave, the wave the yeah. The, so that's why you need to, also the color intensity is different. So this is the paper we just got off, the release paper. The release, uh, now it serves as a perfect uh, Dust protecting paper because the iron is not uh, uh, always clean. Even you know, I can clean it with the paper towel. I always use this uh, paper to protect mm -hmm. the painting. So, <clears throat> so I, I noticed with this type of mounting, you don't have to spray water. That's right. Yeah. I was going to say, which is a step less. Yeah, yeah. But with paper, you have. You can spray some water, 
Today is a rainy day. I think so there's because moisture. of humidity. Yeah, the humidity is fine. We we can work with the minimum water. So, uh, and, and besides this, this painting itself is perfectly flat. If there's a wave or something, you can relax it with some moisture. Mm -hmm. It will help. Just like you iron a shirt, you know. We, because the the humidity today is a rainy storm day, uh, so we have enough humidity in the air, I think. Normally, I will spray a little bit. So just uh, activate the, the film with the... So that it will fuse to the back of uh -huh. the... Yeah. First time it, it um, stick on the back of the uh, on the front of the backing paper. Now we reactivate with the iron to stick the painting onto it. So the painting has to be facing up. Yeah. Don't. We were also saying earlier that this the backing paper is much better because it is acid free. Yeah. This is a made of cotton. The archival material. Oh, I think. Uh, do I have enough to name? That's okay, you can trim it. Okay. Make sure the painting is uh, in the sticky area. It's a bit. Uh, yeah, I think I missed a little bit here. That's okay. So, we can make it up a little bit, maybe if not. Oh, I think it's enough. Yeah. It's a cover. Because you're going to trim it anyway. Yeah, I think. Oops. I got, I touched the silicone, got sticky now. Let me get that paper towel or something. Um, let me get the paper towel. If you touch the uh, silicone film accidentally, you'll get stick. So how, how do you solve the problem? I, I, just get the... Yeah, uh, yeah, I have a special clean paper, but I think it's hot. Maybe I don't mind. So while this, it's uh, hot, you rub it with dry yeah, paper yeah, towel? Right, right. It gives the... So it will come off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, it will not really make any trouble, I think. But just because of the size of the, 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 the material. material, you have to work slower. Maybe just like a section by section, I think. And it's best to use the, the release paper, not any other paper. Yeah, because it, it, will, will, yeah, it will not stick on the margin. Mm -hmm. that you see the shiny yeah. glue? Because if you use a regular paper, it will stick on the... Okay on this uh, protecting sheet. That's why we use the, the, the this paper. It's the fat, uh, waxing side facing the handy. So you will not uh, stick on the adhesive, on the you know, oversized adhesive underneath. Yeah, see, I still mm -hmm. can feel that stickiness, but it will not permanent mm -hmm. stick on it. If you use a different paper, like a drawing paper or newspaper, <laughs> it will stick yes. on it. So I have to go slower, just like uh, taking time, you know, you don't have to press. Yes, <coughs> just let it glide. Yeah, just glide, glide, uh, skipping, <laughs> just... Uh, you let the heat does the work, mm -hmm. not the pressure. <coughs> Give me. Awesome. Oh, can you keep the moving? Can you? I got it. It's a uh, labor-intensive work. <laughs> I have to take my my uh, coat off. Oh, just yeah, careful. Is it? 
I can hear something in the. It has to be one direction. Um, doesn't matter. It's just the iron evenly. Yeah. I can hear the air escaping on the side. Uh huh. On um, between the two. Yeah. Two, the yeah. two layers. Okay. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, if you if you. Um, it's not, it's if, going this way. You, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Right. You can take a look of the. Uh, the situation and then find, oh yeah, there's the air. Yeah. I think I shouldn't seal the margin. You have to find a way that the air out. Maybe so the, the air is, could come out with, you know, it's not a... From the, from the fabric itself. Fabric itself, yeah. yeah. So it's okay. Yeah, I think the, the procedure is to from center out. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. like this out yeah, you, and then this way. Yeah, you, I think this, let me stop yeah. this. There's a big area with yeah. the, because I, I didn't really um, follow that. So let's see if we can lift it. I have to do it again because this is fabric. Yeah. We may be able to, to do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. So we make sure the air come yeah. off. The, margin. the nice thing about working with silk is it does not tear <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> compared to paper. paper. Yeah. So, so silk you is can beautiful. pull it off, yeah. Right. It has more give. Yeah, this is beautiful material to work with. It's like canvas. Like, yeah. You know, it's like a canvas. Beautiful work. Uh, beautiful painting. This Thank is your you. first. Uh, yeah, this is the first one okay. I worked on. Yeah, she's getting more, I'm sure. This is beautiful, Ex exquisite. Ex exquisite, how do you say that? Exquisite. Exquisite. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it worked, Henry. See, it's not flat. Yeah, here, here's another wrinkle. Yeah, Maybe so you I just pull to, it off. Yeah, I have to. That's nice that but you do that. You cannot pull it off until you warm it. Oh, I see, I see. You just kind of warm it up. Don't compress to make the wrinkle worse. Yeah. Just uh, kind of warm, warm it up. So the larger. It will loosen the. Yeah. Now I can pull it. Pull. Yeah, you can see. I can pull it. Oh, that that's another uh, interesting fact. You can remount it <laughs> maybe. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So you can. It's a silk. Yeah, and it doesn't damage the right. The, you can you can, you can stretch it like right, because the, I have to hold this okay, in place. So and then you iron it again, so that wrinkle will be gone. It's a very That's good. good learning experience. This is my first time mounting the Japanese silk. I love the uh, the, the, uh, the durability. Yes, <laughs> yes, true. Yeah, it's not going to tear. And I'm glad I came because I wouldn't know uh, that you had the backing paper and it's archival for one thing. Yeah. So, right. yeah, yeah, that's perfect. And then now yeah. we just have to deal with the yeah. on the edge. Okay, so I just have to go from, if, uh, just let's fix the, the center first. Make sure the center, uh, the flower is, is wrinkle free. So patience is really a key. Right. You can go, uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I can hear what you said. There's air. Correct. There's air. I can feel the air goes out. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. yeah very good. It's like a beer. It's yeah. like popping. Popping. Yeah. The bubbles. Pop, pop. Just the burst to the bubbles. They're not burst. Just so drive out. Let's say bubbles. in transit in the airline and if it pops again, oh, all I have great. to do is just iron again. Right, right, right. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you can, you can fix the bubble if it pops up. But I, I, don't think you, I think you won't because this is heat it's sensitive. Already, yeah. yeah. You won't uh, until you I don't I think it's when it's cooled down it will be stable. Yeah I can feel that that but air you see this maybe there's something here. Uh, just maybe the air in between I don't see bubbles. Maybe I can press a little bit. Yeah, just to make it firm. This is a nice backing paper I like because it's uh, heavy enough to hold the, uh, the stretch. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So if it's too thin, like a rice paper, you won't do 
great. It will make lots of wrinkles. I mean, because different shrinkage, uh, the, if the shrinkage underneath is uh, like too soft, too thin, mm -hmm. it might affect the painting. But you have to use the, uh, and th besides there's a teeth uh, layer, you know, like uh, the rough layer that holds the, um, the silicone mm -hmm. much better. So this is a specialty paper uh, which is we found designed for this purpose. You can find alternatives like a um, multimedia paper. I, I type it's too shiny, too smooth. What are you talking about? The backing paper. The backing paper has, oh. so you will not uh, I see. easy to pop up. All you need to do is to fix the two layers with uh, enough. I mean, because the size, it, it takes a long time, but the results should be very good. I have uh, some customers who mounted the whole like, table size work. Nice. Yeah. We, can, we can change size so we, I can reach this area. Oh. Is this the last thing size? This is the size. Can you say? Okay. Does it matter? W which is side is? This is the waxy side. Oh, okay. So waxy side always facing down. down. Yeah. It's more, um, I think both sides should be fine, but that side is the originally yep. facing the silicone, so it's, it's a stick free. So it's more anti sticking. Anti-sticking. But it's okay also to do this if you forget. <laughs> if you forget you won't make <laughs> or just it. watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, I'd better make it straight. You <laughs> always put the waxy side facing down because yeah. that's the okay. anti-sticking side. Mm -hmm. You might got sticky, but it's okay. It when it's, you, know, you can still separate it um, from the, the paper. But if you have something a wrong thing, like a rice paper, you, yeah. you may carry it. Yeah, so that's it's true, the, true. The problem. Because this is a stronger material. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is a strong, you can always. So it's okay also to press harder, rather than letting it glide? Or it's um, not good to press hard? I think it, at the ending stage, I'll press harder. To see, this is the bubble. Oh, there's this, a bubble, You can yeah. see, yeah. And if you don't press, you will never get this kind of off. Mm. Because there's no exit other than press. Correct. I think this, you cannot drive it anywhere. And I think having a lower See height that? of a lower height yeah. of a table helps you to press harder. And yeah, you can use your body weight. Yeah. <laughs> All those techniques, right, Victoria? I think the the, the canvas has some kind of a. I see a little. Yeah. Okay. That's. Uh, oh, what's that? Okay. I don't. Okay. It might be a egg here. And, or just a fabric. Mm -hmm. Just a fabric. It's just a. It's okay. It's okay. So this is a, the nice part. You can lift it. Yeah. <laughs> That's but why it's it, always good to start ironing from the middle and outward. Right, you, you, you yeah. don't want to yeah. if, if, you have the, if you iron in the edge first, then you have the bubble in the middle. Yes. It's so hard to pull everything off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of work. Yeah, it will need... See, this is a big bubble right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could see it. So, lots of uh, hard, hard labor <laughs> ironing work. Maybe I should use higher temperature, but I try not to uh, hurt the, the silk. Correct. Because it's supposed to be on silk. Correct, correct. Not yeah. on a wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Otherwise, make it is too crispy, maybe you could burn it. Now, I have a question. If I would paint the silk with Western color and I'm doing dry mounting, mm -hmm. So could I do that? Yeah, that's well, it, it, it won't bleed, right? Because you're not no put adding water anyway while well, uh -huh. when you do the mountain. Yeah, you have zero, zero. So this is really risk. ideal for people who don't like to do the wet mountain. Uh -huh. and, yeah, with the western watercolor on the uh, 
uh, either rice paper or silk, you must use the uh, dry mountain method. But like what you said earlier, you mm. like the intensity or the variety of the colors yeah. of Western. I think uh, you you uh, you use acrylic ink on other painting, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, paint. A paint. Yeah. Paint, yeah. Acrylic paints yeah. make the painting. Uh, uh, become like a non-absorbent, so it's not Correct. no longer suitable. It's like a resist. For, yeah, you, you cannot use wet mounting with acrylic acrylic ink or paint, Correct. like a scarf. Uh, if you use a uh, uh, on the scarf, it also makes the paint uh, water resist after it dries. Right? Yeah. So you cannot. Use but it's not heat uh, sensitive. Yeah, you can like use. Right now, uh, uh, so far so good with the uh, the gold. Line. Gold, the gold line. It's not doing anything wrong with it. Yeah. 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 Let me see the back side to see if it, I, I usually do not work on the back side, but it's I just nice. want to show it's you. It's way, way better. Yeah, this one we had a little worry. Uh, let me see if I can flatten that. Now, I have another question. Mm -hmm. After you have mounted with dry mounting, mm -hmm. uh, from my well, oil painters mostly, mm -hmm. they retouch their oil after everything is done. Mm -hmm. Can I do retouching after it's done? Yeah, you can still paint it, but uh, if you use a lot of water, like washing, you may make the uh, two layers separate. Okay. You have to re-iron it. Yeah. Maybe, uh, so maybe just work with... Just if I wanted <laughs> to intensify the gold lines... Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay, <coughs> yeah, you, that it shouldn't be the problem. Yeah, you no can, problem. A big I, area where you very watery thing. Correct, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. You, you, you can sign it, you can... Uh, so I could yeah. sign... Yeah. I and use the seal, the seal base is okay. Yeah. I think if there's a problem, we, we cannot make it stick together. I think maybe the temperature, the temperature too low. Temperature is too, too low. Yeah, let me try. Because the uh, temperature may be too low. I, I'm afraid to increase temperature above too much beyond the silk, but we, we can try mm -hmm. a little bit, just see if it works. It keeps separating. See if I can... Oh, you know what? It's off. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> it came off from the outlet. No, it's a auto shut off. Oh, oh. I see, I see. Yeah. So that's why I, I, I cannot... That's one of the steps. Check the electricity. <laughs> it happens all the time. That's funny. So this is too low. Yeah, that's why. The, no heat. No yeah, heat. Yeah. So I, yeah, I just did a, a bunch of work in vain. So it is low. too low, but no wonder. <laughs> as long as it's not damaged, I think yeah. we're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better than <laughs> uh, you have wrinkles yeah. uh, that... The bubble is, is no problem, just keep ironing. I, it's so funny because I'm so attached to working with silk now. Mm -hmm. I think it's because uh, with the durability of the material. Mm -hmm. uh, I still like working with cicada paper when I do gong bee. Oh. But um, cicada I'm bean. loving the silk. Yeah. Cicada bean is almost like a paper silk. Correct, correct. <laughs> Very clean. Yeah. So does the paper get stronger? T talking about paper, uh -huh. uh, does it get stronger in, with age or? Oh, it will be uh, if you don't paint the sized paper, you better store it in a closed uh, uh, box or, or something. Like uh, in plastic. Yeah, because it gets crispy over time. Oh, but there will be no problem if it's in a humid place. Right. Yeah. 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 That's so, what we talk about the experience here. I'm in Southern mm -hmm. California. It's dry. very dry. Yeah. 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 In our hometown. It gets brittle. Yeah. yeah. It's mm -hmm. a, in our hometown, you know. Uh, in Nanjing. Yeah. Right. It gets, it's humid, so it's yes. okay. Yes. Yeah. So, um, How about the regular Schwann paper? Is same that, thing. Same, same thing. thing. Okay. Yeah. Too dry. Yeah. Because it's naturally, I mean, like a handmade thing. Okay, so. Now it's. Yeah, I can feel the heat now. Yeah, there, Earlier there wasn't there's, any. There wasn't any heat, so we just did That's a... That's why it was not sticking. We just used a cold eye. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if you have questions. Okay. Yeah, you can see if there's uh, any audience. Gershela... Uh, oh no, Gershela... Oh wait. Sergio Medina Roman uh, asked earlier if you can send the link to the paper. So I, I answered him mm -hmm. to buy Enjoy Heron Arts and the 
material is called plain backing paper. Plain backing, oh, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. We yes. have two three people watching Sergio Medina Roman, Gershela Borja, and Rosalind Clark. Mm. Yeah, I, once uh, I finish, I'll download it and put it on YouTube. We'll have more exposure. I am so glad you guys are so close to where I live. <laughs> <laughs> if I have problems, I'd have to wait from here. Yeah. Well, the video has taught me a lot, uh, you know, when I self-learning right. uh, watercolor, I, I just watch video and pick up uh, lots of information. When you have some first-hand uh, experience, then you can watch um, video yeah. to, to, to remind yourself. Just like, uh, uh, yeah, you, you don't have to take notes today, you can Correct. just go right. back to the video to review it. Yeah, nowadays, thanks for lots of technologies. Yeah. Yeah. Online, yeah. yeah, maybe when we have 5G, there will be more videos. No thoughts wow. needed. Oh, it looks better. Yeah, yeah I you think could uh, tell. You, you could can tell, tell the difference. There is this little bubble yeah. mist. But it's just so, so minor now. Yeah, we, I think that's the, the reason why it's not sticking together. So the, the iron is not hot enough. I sit in the same temperature, but I was, you know, I didn't notice the auto shut up function. Uh, before I left it, maybe it was a, uh, already. It's a safety oh, feature. Though. Safety, yeah. Iron has a safety feature, but I always forgot that. That yeah. really helped me. <laughs> Otherwise, my house would be burned down yeah, for all time. <laughs> if you don't have a safety shut up feature on your iron, very dangerous. Okay. And this is such a big, um, okay. I guess, saving, because it's not cheap to do the wet mounting. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's nice. Okay. Oh. I want to know where uh, while the air comes out. Yeah. So that's of uh, iron with the large painting. This is waxy This is waxy mm -hmm. Actually, this wax side is, is less uh, smooth when I use the iron. Mm -hmm. It just tends to stick on the iron. So I use the. Okay. So with this method, you will have this. Uh, Sheet automatically mm -hmm. once you release mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. If you put this on the original, you cannot take it out. Correct. Then you have to use the alternative. Something not sticky, it's hard to find. Waxy paper or something. Maybe uh, um, from the kitchen oven paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the good thing about this thing, you got. The large size is for large paintings, and this mm -hmm. cut it to size for the small painting. Mm -hmm. Harry Thermo mm -hmm. asked a question. Sometimes when I use the backing paper, it gets tiny wrinkles. Is the iron too hot when that happens? Mm. It depends on. Uh, the rink, if the wrinkle is on the uh, uh, painting or on the back, if it's on the back, most likely this felt or um, denim cloth got moisture. Um, I think even today, I can feel some some moist. Yeah, there. because of the humidity. Yeah, humidity in the air. So in the beginning, we got uh, that kind of uh, wrinkle right away, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's very common, very, very common. Uh, just keep the, the padding completely dry, no, no moisture. Um, if you spray water, just spray it somewhere else, not on the table yeah. area. She says it's on the painting, I think. On the painting? Yeah. Um, 
So maybe the water is too much or too little with, with the paper painting, right? If you spread water, you have to spray it evenly. Uh, iron the painting first before you put on the silicone. Okay. To get it flat. If it is paper. Yeah. Do you do the same with silk? Um, Not necessarily. I think maybe if you, yeah, if you have wrinkles on Actually, the painting. Actually, I asked the question with Shay when I was there. We, we worked on a small painting and she did say, even with paper, after it dries, mm -hmm. she turns it upside down mm -hmm. and puts the back, the, the silicone release or any paper that's white, mm -hmm. and she irons to make yeah. it stretched. Right, right. You can. Uh, you should always iron the original first okay. as a preparation. Um, you spray some water and iron it. Let me. Um, maybe, maybe let me maybe do another thing from. Uh, this, this will be a shortcut. We can just cut into okay. another demo, so people don't have to wait for for this to complete. So this is almost done. If we. I can do another demo showing you how to do the small paintings. If you have small paintings, it's much easier to handle. You see, these are waves, right? So I will just uh, iron it dry, see so if I can flatten it. But uh, best so, you can... So yeah. put this on. Yeah. I, I will use some moisture. This is the correct way to do it. Just. Um, I think I just spray the top. Oh, this is the first mistake I'm making. If I spray here, I cannot use this felt anymore. Mm. If you spray on this table before you iron, this area because is wet. Is yeah. bad. It will make a bad wrinkles okay. because of the moisture here. Okay. So even you, you wipe it out or you, 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 I can or change. Or just blow dry it. Yeah, I can, I can change area. Maybe I just, you know, Use this half, so I can use this half for now, and then I'll shift sides. I put this away. Okay. Okay. But even that, you know, the moisture when you iron this, the moisture goes into the table. The wood mm. table will take some moisture, so this area basically is moist. You cannot use. Okay. For drying mountain, you have you can move it somewhere, somewhere else. else. Yeah. yeah. Not on the working table. Right. So. She says, she says thank you. Okay. Um, let me iron this uh, first. Then okay. I'll, I'll do the... So this is another demo. You, you, you start by spray, spray a little moisture, a, a, a pinch of uh, water, just like iron a shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you put the release paper with on top wax of... Down. With wax down. And then iron to make it flat. This hopefully will, will make it perfect flat. Yeah, see? Oh, there it is, yeah. yeah it's better, but it can, you can still see the wrinkles. You have the different shrinkage to create it with partial wet, partial mm -hmm. dry painting, so you cannot really... Uh, so that's why a, a, a heavy support will really help stretch it. When you say heavy support, like uh, another paper or another material? Another, just using the backing paper. Mm -hmm. Oh, another backing paper, okay. Yeah, so let's see if I can... Okay, I got lucky today. So okay. we can use this method B. Okay. Uh, for this one, you you can use, I think the method A is still the best, but I can show people because they but already see... But this is yeah. the silicone? This is silicone Also, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, you're sticking it already? Yeah. Okay. You can use method A, but same thing, you know, I iron the the painting first, okay. then I... Um, um, so that you have less work to do when you're doing it. Right, right. Okay. So see if you can... So how it works with method A with this. So this is the method A. I just um, put the painting directly on the silicone paper and then iron it. Yeah. Because I already flattened it, I don't really have to worry about mm -hmm. the wrinkle. I just activate the... Adhesive. It's very easy, I think. Correct. With this little <laughs> penny. So that's why if you mount a, a, a you know, 9 by 12 or uh, even, you know, a greeting card I did the other day, it's 
much, much easier. And in one yard will go, you can do a lot of paintings. It's very costly, very costly factory. Mm -hmm. very, you don't have to wait overnight to have it done, right? So this is, uh, okay, here, here's the thing. You can see how it, uh, <coughs> it, it uh, what happens is this, uh, Silicone is much larger, so if you don't use the release paper, it will stick. It will stick on the, on the, mm -hmm. so you will have hard time to separate. That. Okay. Now it's done. Now it's it's wrinkle free. Yeah. So with this silk, I proved that um, you don't have to use a heavy support mm -hmm. to get the wrinkle out. You can use the method A. So you can still roll it Correct. and carry it uh, easily without uh, until you um, frame it. You can. Um, Transfer it onto a permanent support. Just you know, take it out and. Now, and my question: When I'm, let's say, I would, I do my own framing and yeah. see how it's kind of curved. Uh -huh. Do I have to iron it to make it flat? No, no, no. You just, just tape, tape it on the back of the. Of uh, the board. Of the board. The yeah. Frame. Okay. You can you can keep this paper on. Okay. Uh, oh, this one. This one. Yeah. This uh, as a as a permanent uh, support, I have oh, found okay. that yeah. actually the painting on my wall is. Uh, uh, that one, the, the, the body, kept it. It, I kept it for oh. more than for 10, 10 years. It's okay. not turning yellow or anything. It's, uh, it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, I think... Uh, there will be a, what yeah. do you call this thing on the side? Um, like a border? The mat. The yeah. mat, yeah. Behind the mat. You can put this uh, behind the mat. It's all fine. Um, so you can... This is a method A. You just use the silicone paper as a... Release paper is the backing paper. You can also uh, transfer it by release that paper just before you frame and then put on a heavier support mm -hmm. and then iron it again, just like we did. So it's okay, but it's okay not to take this off when you. You don't have to. Take you don't have until it. you. You only do it when you want to stick it on yeah, something. Yeah, on something permanent, like uh, a scroll, a flat. Yeah. yeah. Or okay. yeah, on a scroll. Yeah, right. That's right. I was a little worried about the. Uh, if you do this, the, the you, you might uh, see some shininess through because this the silk is thin. Mm. This is the Ch Chinese silk. You may see the silicone goes through. Oh, go oh because inside, of the shine. Yeah. yeah. The, the go inside. I think the, it's fine. Go inside the the, the fabric. Yeah. So that I for a long time I was. Uh, Concerned. Uh, yeah, concerned that we don't, you know, use dry mounting on silk. I would use uh, primary mounting, you know, backing with the wet mounting. But it looks okay on this one. So let me see if there's any. It, it has a shine uh, quality by itself. So the silicone, I mean, the silk itself has this shininess. But because you pulled out the the mm -hmm. release paper, it does, it's not as obvious. Yeah. I, let me, let me uh, keep ironing while we talk. Yeah, okay. So uh, I still see some air wrinkle. there. So it just, <coughs> in a lot of cases, the wrinkle it means you, you didn't iron enough. The mm -hmm. bubble is mm -hmm. because uh, it, most of the wrinkle can be um, soft. And in, in, in my early days, I set the temperature too high and the wrinkle become fixed, like a, oh. it turns yellow, like a burn. Um, that's a real situation. If you use lower temperature, most likely you don't, you didn't iron enough. Okay. If the temperature is too high, the wrinkle may be. But it's better to have the low temperature and yeah. just work your way out, right, right. rather than burn have, and then that's it. You can't. Yeah, burn. when you have, have like you a fall, yeah, yeah, it become permanent too, before it gets flat. Correct. So it, you, you you can work at least in two temperature settings, lower temperature to. Um, kind of hold it, become not you know, sticky but not permanent. Mm -hmm. Then you increase temperature to set it. So let's see if I can go higher even to the wall, close to the wall. No, it's very close to the wall. And then I go faster, skyline, and just see if I can. You have to keep moving. Yeah, but I want to, I don't want to iron it for too long, so it might burn it. Mm -hmm. So it, it works. It, 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 you, can, yeah. you can feel the warmness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to feel the 180 degree. I don't know if maybe you can use a <laughs> temperature gauge. What you call, yeah, you can measure it maybe. 180 degrees is what uh, 
we, we just go with experience. I would think of it like it's a lukewarm temperature rather than a hot temperature. Yeah, it's not the hottest. It's, the, um, it, 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 it's the, the heat is something you can touch. Right, 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 right. You will not burn your finger. Right, that's a good point. So you, it feels hot, but not too, like the uh, hot, hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can bearable. It's bearable hot. Exactly. Yeah. If you if you touch the, the you don't touch it here though. Know. Yes. <laughs> it will it will be different. Okay, I, I will leave it to you. Uh, if it's loose, you can keep ironing at, at uh, your destination. Um, yes. So, so it's okay to roll it. Yeah, I don't want a CE. So we really don't have to, I have to increase temperature to try to set it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will keep popping. Because of the size of the painting, I don't have, uh, the proper temperature evenly. That's why the the bubble keeps popping up. I can feel the the popping. Popping the the the, the, the sound you said the bubble popping sound. Mm -hmm. And also, it's the nature of the the fabric. Uh, it's not yeah. straight in itself. I, actually, the when you paint it, it becomes wave. Uh, That's right. not, not the same stretch. Yeah. That's why, yeah, I think it, it, it has a little bit the So I have to point this. The back is, is, is not very yeah, cold, perfect, yeah. but yeah. this one may have to do with that painting, I don't know. It just adds this to the headline, it's like an okay. embossed press. You want that, so that wrinkle we worried it didn't really bother, mm -hmm. but some other minor wrinkle, you might, it looks like a fiber. Yeah. It's an original painting, so um, when you look this close, you should, yeah. you'll see it, but you should, see it from a meter away or a yard away, you won't notice mm -hmm. this kind of... Uh, mm -hmm. I won't say a flaw, but uh, um, it's always, you know, there's some it's minor... Character, reason, character, yeah, character, character fiber. Yeah, the material. So it, if you want to show people the... Uh, it's on silk or on uh, cicada wing or some, ring, uh, some like a minor wrinkle may just the uh, indication of the the same is how you know vulnerable the the, uh, the material is. I it's just like I I will frame it with the margin to show people the material. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you frame it with the mat, you don't you cannot even tell from a you know original from a print. Mm -hmm. So if you have this kind of floor, just indication of the original original painting. If it's on a print, you won't see that. Oh, yeah. the original painting always have this kind of, I call it uh, imperfect beauty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or what do they call it in Japanese? Yeah. Well, if a painting is perfect, I guess it's it's more machine made. <laughs> yeah. You see, or oh, the the. Um, Maybe the temperature is too high, you start to have that minor, little, little wrinkles, something mm. like that. So I will worry about that. But not too hot. Too hot may create this uh, kind of... Uh, so now it's fused. You see fused this? To the, to this. This, let me see. I really cannot tell from this side. You won't help from this side. Just a little, little tiny. If you look at this, oh, there's a little. Yeah. 
this is the thing we we can um, just leave it as this because yeah. sometimes it could be the iron um, too hot can mm -hmm. create that kind of stretch. Oh, actually, you know, if you feel it, mm -hmm. this there's nothing, not much. I think it's also the fiber. You know what? I forgot to move the area with the moisture. It might. It could be that, yeah. but I don't see that on the back. Usually, if that happens, the, you will see wrinkles like uh, on the back. Yeah. If this is wet. Yeah. So, do you uh, suggest that I use dry, uh, dry? Uh, you can ideally, is it better to use denim than? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's uh, than felt. Um, because this seems to be smoother. Right. And it, it, it's less uh, sticky because mm -hmm. if you've got something on this, it's hard to take off Correct. from the from the surface uh, of uh, felt. But it's much, you know, I, I used this for from day one. I haven't okay. changed it, so you, you don't see any uh, residual, right? Because I can drop Whereas it off. Whereas with the felt, you have fibers that will come off. Right. It, it, it's very hard to drop it, anything yeah. uh, if a silicone goes on the felt. So. Um, my advice is not to use felt. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. But it came out really nice. Thank you. Because well, I have to, maybe when I arrive to the destination, yeah. I'll just... Uh, by sp if I spray it with just yeah. a little water, will mm. it come off? You see, the, the, this is... Yeah. Very nice. If I keep on it, it might become crispy. So it's very subtle. Oh, you have to... Right. It, the, when you iron that, it become maybe a little so just be a little careful with the temperature also. And you just, you just, just, just stay with silk. Yeah, I think so. Half half silk, half wall, uh, half halfway to the wall. So experiment before you um, do your final work. That's very important to get a feel of your working utensils. Yeah, I think it that works. It might still have some um, bubbles when we get there, but mm -hmm. uh, you can you can always uh, go back to iron it. Yeah. I think like, like this is my I can see that yeah. it, it may mm -hmm. pop up. Yeah. Once you frame, it should be okay. Yeah. Because the painting is so big, it's hard to get the even um, pressure and the uh, hotness. If you use a press machine, that's what the, this, this the mounting shop used mm -hmm. uh, for the material. So you, if you do this at home, it's not impossible, but uh, it's a challenge always to do a big. Right. Yeah. Big painting like this. This is one of the biggest things <laughs> I've done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beautiful work. Thank, Thank you, you Maribel, for showing You're the welcome. artwork and then you experiment <laughs> with it. I'll show you, uh, I'll take a picture of it when I want it sprayed. Oh, yeah, share your friends on Facebook. And uh, your work is so, your progress is very impressive. Uh, I remember you, you, you just started like four years ago, right? Around five. Five years ago, five. yeah. In uh, 2004? When I retired. Uh, 14, uh, 